hope your Sunday's off to a good start. Hopefully you got some sleep after a long night of recreational firework displays. I'm Christina Laurie. Coronavirus cases are on the rise once again this weekend. We've seen the biggest single day increase of new cases in just the past 24 hours. Health officials say 31,000 Wisconsinites have now tested positive for COVID. No new deaths in the state so far this weekend. That's the good news. So the death toll remains at 797. 19% or about 5,700 cases are still active. The positive percentage of new COVID cases has increased more than four percentage points since Friday afternoon. According to the Wisconsin Department of Health Services, health officials say roughly 10.8% of the tests processed in the past 24 hours have come back positive after being within the 4% range in the past few days. We are not alone, though. The World Health Organization says member states reported more than 212,000 new confirmed cases of COVID-19 to the global body this weekend. That is the highest single-day increase since the start of the pandemic. Here in the U.S., record numbers for new cases in a single day were set Wednesday, Thursday, and then again on Friday when more than 57,000 new cases were reported. Health officials say this shows the pandemic is winning so far in the country's battle against it. Absolutely the saddest thing, the most unnecessary situation that we're finding ourselves in, and it's behaviorally driven. Cases in 37 states have gone up since the economy started to reopen a few weeks ago. And this week, the city of Chicago is joining several states, including New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut, in requiring visitors from hotspot states to quarantine for 14 days upon arrival. More help is on the way for small businesses. This weekend, President Donald Trump signed legislation that extends the deadline for businesses to apply for a loan under the Federal Paycheck Protection Program. The PPP was established back in March as part of the coronavirus relief bill. Since then, more than 4.8 million small businesses have applied for $520 billion in potentially forgivable loans. The deadline to apply for the program is now August 8th. A reminder that tighter restrictions are now in place in Dane County that could impact any lingering holiday weekend plans. Restaurants are limited to 25% capacity and bars are limited to takeout only. Indoor gatherings are limited to just 10 people and outdoor gatherings, yes, even on this holiday weekend, are limited to 25 people. These new guidelines will also impact your work week routines. Gyms and fitness centers are still open and operating at 50% capacity, but group classes are now limited for social distancing and must comply with restrictions on large gatherings, meaning 10 or fewer people inside and again, 25 or fewer outside. Other businesses and stores are also allowed to run at 50% capacity. There's a lot of new information about these and other changes happening every day. So if you have any questions, we will always have the latest up on our website, channel3000.com. Now let's get a check of our post 4th of July forecast with meteorologist Chris Reese. Hey Chris. Yeah, hey, good morning, Christina. I've been watching one shower and thunderstorm out there this morning. Uh, for the most part, the lightning on it has been limited, but nonetheless, some of the rainfall has been heavier. Now this storm has weakened substantially as we've gone really through about the next or the past five minutes or so, but it's right around Richland Center. So you work your way over towards Richland County. The heaviest of the rainfall has been towards the south and to the west of the actual town of Richland Center. So it's been more so just north and south of Highway 14 back towards the west of Highway 56, but that's going to be moving towards the south and east as we go through time. So heads up if you're out that direction here in Madison, things are all clear for us. 72 is our temperature. Dew points are into the upper 60s, so it is incredibly humid outside. It's going to be staying that way as we go throughout the morning. 73 in Monroe right now, same for Mineral Point and Platteville. Basketball is at 70. We're all watching these temperatures begin to creep up with those winds out of the south. You factor in the humidity that heat index will likely make it into the upper 90s at times today and then we'll watch to see if we see any additional showers or thunderstorms try to pop up this afternoon. that help to cool us off but for the most part things are going to be dry for us. Hour by hour 9 o'clock will be into the mid 80s same for 11 upper 80s by the time we get you towards 1. Expect today's high at 91. 
bring the sunscreen. Thanks so much, Chris. More local news now. If you're planning on hitting state parks this weekend, the Department of Natural Resources is reminding you to not, not only bring that sunscreen, but also a mask and be sure to social distance. A few crowds were out at Devil's Lake State Park on Saturday. The DNR says because of the virus, it's hard to know just how many people will visit each day. Everyone, though, has been advised to avoid unnecessary travel. But with months in quarantine, officials think people will still want to get out. Be as mindful as possible to all the other people that may be sensitive to the uh, coronavirus and to make sure you're practicing the social distancing. Officials are limiting capacity at the parks based on how much parking is available. They've closed shelters, but bathrooms are open in some parks. You'll have to check ahead of time. This Friday will mark two years since a deadly explosion tore apart downtown Sun Prairie, and the ongoing pandemic is now hitting businesses along the city's main street extra hard. Businesses, business owners rather, say they rely on foot traffic, and there's very little of that right now. So they've been dealing with financial losses for several years, and many say what seems to be one event after another is making it tough to stay afloat. And people are trying to figure out ways to circumvent the impact. People are trying to figure ways how to uh, keep their businesses alive. And it's, it, it can become a struggle very quickly. Even though it's been tough, the tone of the community is still one of strength and hope. Many businesses are still flaunting Sun Prairie strong signs in their front windows. This Friday, July 10th, will mark two years since the deadly downtown gas explosion. Time for some of our favorite stories of the week. When things are tough, it can be hard to find things to celebrate. But one man in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, is used to looking on the bright side of things, and he's the reason so many people are celebrating this week. A longtime member of Oshkosh's Optimist Club, Harold, is making the most of his socially distanced 103rd birthday party, filled with some custom-made shirts and a lot of love. Family, friends, and fellow optimists all wanted to do what they could to celebrate such a big part of their community this week. And lucky for us, he's letting us in on his secret to living a long life. Keep doing something. Yeah. Volunteer or work or walk or even play. But to lay around, I, I, I don't think that's good for you. And he would know. I mean, look at him. He looks incredible. Here are some of just some of Harold's stats from the past century. He was a farmer for 40 years and then a businessman for another 40 years. And now he says he works at home on the stock market. Harold was born in 1917. That's when Woodrow Wilson was president and America first entered into World War I. And he's still going strong. He walks five miles every day. So happy birthday, Harold. Enjoy your walk. While most cities in our area made the tough decision to cancel fireworks shows and parades, others found unique ways to still hold them this weekend. Waukesha's reverse parade is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. You can either stay in your car, you stay in your car rather, and instead of the floats driving past you, you drive past the floats. Waukesha city officials decided to change their annual 4th of July celebration, creating this new concept They've called it the reverse parade with stationary floats. In a normal parade, people would be shoulder to shoulder on the street, and so that we just couldn't do, and we have a limit of 100 or less right now in the county. I think it's great. Instead of having thousands of people lined up on sidewalks and close to one another, City leaders say they look forward to resuming their full festivities next year in 2021. Perhaps Dorothy said it best, there's no place like home, and Destination Madison is proving that. With its new adventure series, the hidden trails, and socially distant activities, even some locals might not know about here in Madison. We're talking to the organization's director next, and here's a live look outside. In the meantime, Chris is tracking our full Sunday forecast and a look at the work week ahead right after this. Sometimes you run out of fresh at the wrong time. 
Luckily, pick and save delivery and free pickup make it easy to grab what you need so you can get back to being you. Pick and save, fresh for everyone. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I solemnly swear that I'll support the veterans of the United States Armed Forces. I will defend the Constitution against all enemies that I will commit to ensuring they're not forgotten. And I will enable veterans to live the same life of opportunity they have provided me. So help me God. Whether it's your morning cup of coffee or waiting for mom and dad to come home, our windows will provide endless possibilities to your daily routine here at Mad City Windows. Now would be a great time to take advantage of our summer spectacular sale. Get a house full of windows for $29.95. Zero down, zero payments, and zero interest for 18 months. A bonus. Buy seven or more premium windows and get a patio door installed for free. Ask about our virtual online estimate. Call now to get a $100 Walmart or Amazon gift card with your estimate. Talk about fireworks. Check out these offers at Denver Mattress. Sleep cool all night long and save up to $500 on the superior cooling comfort of a temper breeze. Or get $100 off our Athlete's Choice Bed in a Box lineup. Check out the Queen Size Summit Firm. Only $189.99. Plus seven years no interest financing and free shipping right to your doorstep. And to celebrate Casper's arrival at Denver Mattress, score special savings on all Casper mattresses and accessories. Better move fast. These deals will be gone before you know it. America, we want to help get you back to it. And here's how, with the Ford Promise. Visit your Ford dealer. Finance a new, certified, pre-owned, or used vehicle through Ford Credit. And if you lose your job, you can return it for up to one year from the day you bought it. You can also get 0% APR financing for 72 months across the Ford lineup. Let us help get you back to it with the Ford Promise. Seeing the joy that people feel when they share a meal with family and friends, that's why we do this. The laughter of kids around the table, the thrill of families driving through for a treat, the delight of not having to cook, and instead, letting us safely serve you. It all comes back to taking care of each other. And for that, we'll be here with your favorites and always a smile. Today and tomorrow have been added to our string of alert days due to the heat and the humidity that we have right here in South Central Wisconsin. Once again, we're going to be watching the heat index work its way into the upper 90s. So this is this afternoon. We'll notice a lot of those feels like temperatures being closer to 100. We're going to do that again as we head into tomorrow afternoon as well. To be told, uh, every day this week will be something like this when it comes to the heat index. So always be mindful of some of the things you can do to stay cool so that you don't succumb to heat-related illness. Uh, we don't want anyone having heat exhaustion or heat strokes out there. So make sure you drink plenty of water. Wear the light-colored and loose-fitting clothing. And as always, remember to check the back seat because of how quickly cars heat up. This is the air temperature. It's going all the way up towards 90 degrees. Well, when the air temperature is at 90 degrees, which is where we're expecting those high temperatures to be this week. This is how quickly your car begins to heat up. After 10 minutes, your car is at close to 110 degrees on the inside of that. And then by the time you get towards an hour, your car is at over 130 degrees. And we're in this extended pattern where temperatures are going to be above average. Folks, that extended forecast is pretty much going to be near 90 each and every day this week because we have this hot, hazy, and humid air mass that's truly taking hold hold over much of the country. So the cooler weather will be back across uh, parts of the northern Rockies and the Pacific Northwest. For us, hot. So that's going to be the general theme of the story. And with the humidity, each and every day we'll at least have a small chance to see a shower or thunderstorm. Most of those days are going to be dry. But for example, as we go through this afternoon and evening, it's possible, especially the further north you are, that you might see an isolated shower or thunderstorm. Tomorrow, the strongest, if anything, is going to be off towards the north. But I can't rule out the chance of a shower or a thunderstorm here and then tomorrow night into Tuesday we'll be watching more chances to see some showers and thunderstorms here throughout the state of Wisconsin. There's one out there right now. This has been over towards the north and west of Lone Rock and mainly just towards the west of Richland Center. 
It's been slow moving because this has been pretty much in the same spot for about the past hour or so, but the heaviest rain with that is now starting to fall apart as that storm begins to weaken. Temperatures though are into the 60s and 70s. Here's how we warm up going throughout the day. Look for a high of 91. Again, mainly north of Madison. We do have that chance to see a shower or a thunderstorm. We'll cool down towards 68 overnight. Then tomorrow, temperatures are once again going to be close to 90. We'll watch the north and west to see if any showers or thunderstorms begin to pop up. Here's your average line and you see how the actual air temperatures are well above that throughout the extended forecast. So with that being said, we're hot and humid y'all. That's how we say it back in Texas. We're going to be keeping that around for uh, multiple days in a row. So Nothing more I could say than just be ready for it <laughs> and wear the light colored clothing, you know? I hate to break it to you, Chris. You're not in Texas anymore. I'm not in Texas anymore, but it <laughs> certainly feels like it. It does. Thank you so much. As summer heats up, Destination Madison is helping locals and visitors find cool ways to explore outdoor Madison. The organization is out with a new campaign highlighting the fun activities and natural physical distancing found in our five lakes, hundreds of parks, and 240 miles of bike trails. Anna Sher Result from Mad Destination Madison joins us now this morning. Good morning, Anna. Thanks for talking to us. Good morning, Christina. I said I earlier when we uh, just introduced ourselves off air, I love your backdrop. I love that you're already outside. Now is the best time to enjoy yeah. this weather. But for folks going outside today, what is your new program and what can the, what will it mean for their plans this weekend? Yeah, so about two weeks ago, we launched our Explore Outdoor Madison campaign, which is really focused on having locals and visitors enjoy our beautiful outdoors. As you mentioned, our five beautiful lakes. I have Lake Monona behind me here at Olin Park. Um, our miles and miles of trails, perfect for biking and hiking. Our many parks, perfect for picnicking. And then um, just getting out and like you said, the social distancing aspect that's available when you're enjoying our outdoors. And so every week um, we are releasing two of what we're calling our iconic Madison adventures which um, are places for uh, people to explore that maybe they haven't tried out before. So what are some of the places that you've already released so far? And then can you give us a tease of anything that might be coming up next? Sure, so we've already released uh, the Lake Monona Loop, so which would pass by here at Olin Park. Uh, we also released Picnic Point and Lakeshore Path, which I know were probably very popular yesterday uh, for the fourth. And then um, last week we released um, um, paddling in front of Lake Monona, how could I forget? So renting a boat over at Brittingham Boats um, or a kayak or a paddleboard and then taking yourself over um, to enjoy the beautiful view um, on Lake Monona in front of Monona Terrace. And then coming up, I can't give you any uh, specific details, but we're releasing two new adventures this week on Monday and Thursday. And they're not all downtown focused, so they'll definitely become um, some coming in the surrounding communities, some that maybe you haven't tried out before, even if you're from Madison. That's a really good tease. Yeah, yesterday I kind of unknowingly took you up on one of those challenges. I went kayaking out on the lakes for my first time. I feel like a real Madisonian now that I've done that. Um, yeah, it's perfect you, weather for it. Yeah, um, do you have a f suggestion for anyone at home watching this who might be a little tired from their uh, 4th of July festivities? Any challenge they should take up that's not too difficult? You know, we don't want to send them out on like a 20 mile bike ride. <laughs> Sure. Well, I think one great way is you can support our local businesses by picking up a picnic package somewhere and heading to the park of your choice and just enjoying some time outside. Um, we have a bunch of those deals located on our website at visitmadison.com. Um, I know one example would be for Imagination is offering um, picnic packages they've already put together. So go and pick up one of those at for Imagination and head to the park of your choosing and just some, enjoy some outdoor time. Yeah, that sounds delicious. That's a really good recommendation. I wasn't thinking of that. For anyone watching at home, Fromagination is the cheese shop that's right on the Capitol Square. So it's conveniently located. Um, Anna, thank you so much for talking to us this morning. And a reminder that every week all summer long, Des Destination Madison is releasing two adventures for you to try. So you can sign up to get those emailed straight to your inbox on visitmadison.com. Have a great day, Anna. Enjoy the 5th of you July. Too. Thanks. It's 718 this morning. Some people are flying for the fourth. Airline companies are expecting another bump in numbers as families return from their Independence Day festivities. Find out what it looks like to fly right now and how safe it really is compared to dining out or spending a day at the pool. Go to Amazon.com skills to enable Channel 3000 news briefs.
bathing safety is essential. So called Mad City Baths for high quality, easy access bath and shower designs installed in as little as one day. From walk in and barrier free showers to walk in tubs with microband protection to prevent the growth of bacteria, mold, and mildew. Premium wall patterns like Canyon Rock, Sierra Sand, and more. Mad City Baths is Wisconsin's number one ranked remodeler. Call now during our summer spectacular sale. Get a new bath or shower for only $49.95. Ask about zero down, zero payments, and zero interest for 18 months. And call during this program for a free $100 Walmart or Amazon gift card with your free in-home estimate. Now offering flexible installation schedules and virtual online estimates. Throughout Madison and South Central Wisconsin, call 608-729-4466. Be sure to ask about Mad City's Do More discount. Get additional savings on new windows and kitchen upgrades. We're going to put a great product in your home, like our durable one-day bath and shower systems. See the before and after difference? We have thousands of satisfied customers. I'd rate Mad City baths um, 10 out of 10 because of how easy they were to work with, how professional their salespeople and their installers were, and then the quality of the finished product. Be sure to take advantage of the savings during our summer spectacular sale. Get a new bath or shower for only $49.95. Ask about zero down, zero payments, and zero interest for 18 months. And call during this program for a free $100 Walmart or Amazon gift card with your free in-home estimate. Now offering virtual online estimates. Call 608-729-4466. help get you back to it. And here's how with the Ford Promise. Visit your Ford dealer. Finance a new, certified, pre-owned, or used vehicle through Ford Credit. And if you lose your job, you can return it for up to one year from the day you bought it. You can also get 0% APR financing for 72 months across the Ford lineup. Let us help get you back to it with the Ford Promise. News 3 Now First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Welcome back. A lot of Netflix news this morning. Colin Kaepernick is coming to the streaming service. Colin in Black and White, as it's called, will tell the story of the athlete and activist's formative years. The ex-San Francisco 49ers quarterback first made headlines in 2016 when he chose to kneel during the national anthem. He will narrate the six-episode series. A release date has not yet been announced. Real cases, shocking murders, and paranormal encounters. Netflix is reviving unsolved mysteries. The original series aired from 1987 to 2010. Unsolved cases in the new series include the death of Ray Rivera and a UFO incident in Massachusetts. The first six episodes are now streaming. And the popular book series The Babysitter's Club is getting another reboot for the small screen. Alicia Silverstone plays the mother of Christy Thomas, the founder and president of The Babysitter's Club. It's based on the book series written and released by Anne M. Martin during the 80s and 90s. The show is now streaming this weekend. The release date for Christopher Nolan's Tenet has been pushed back once again. The sci-fi thriller is now scheduled to hit theaters August 12th instead of the end of the month. Warner Brothers is also delaying the 10th anniversary re-release of Nolan's Inception to July 31st. Now these dates are significant because they were initially seen as the target for theater chains to reopen. Disney is also once again postponing the live action Mulan now scheduled for August 21st instead of the end of this month. We are now officially halfway through the year, just 26 weekends to go in 2020, and online people are taking time to reminisce and show all the places they've gone so far. This is what they're sharing. Yes, those are intentionally empty boxes, not a mistake. Posts like this have been trending online, hopefully 
The second half of the year is better than the first. That's all we have to say. Some Americans are shedding their fear of flying, while others remain skeptical. According to, to a new Harris poll, 48% of people say they will not be comfortable taking a flight until this pandemic ends. The news comes as many wonder whether it's really safe to do so right now. Chris Van Cleve reports from Chicago's O'Hare Airport. Just days from the 4th of July, our flight to Chicago this morning had dozens of open seats. There is concern soaring COVID cases could halt the travel rebound. Gretchen Ike is flying home to Wichita. We're desperate to see family. As a family all over the United States, we had plans to see, but we canceled all those plans. Overall, global demand increased in June, but bookings weakened as cases surged at the end of the month. Now, sources tell CBS News some U.S. carriers are seeing a bump in cancellations ahead of the holiday weekend and slowing reservations for the weeks ahead. But today, United Airlines announced plans to add 25,000 flights in August. Josh Ernest is the airline's chief communications officer. If we do see a decline, and people purchasing tickets, then we'll, we'll scale back our schedule accordingly. Today, American joined United dropping onboard social distancing, making all seats available. We don't think it's the right message. We think it's really important in individuals that are in, whether it's a bus or a train or a plane or a, uh, social distancing. Is United's thought that social distancing on a plane is not particularly possible? Look, when our competitors talk about block and middle seats, they're talking about a PR strategy, not a safety strategy. A safety strategy is one that's focused on wearing masks. The number of flyers in the U.S. had been growing, and airlines expect to see a bump over the holiday weekend. But they're still only averaging about 70 passengers per domestic flight. That's down around 75% from last year. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, Chicago. Thanks to Chris for that. Um, and we'll be right back right after this. There's time for adventure. There's people to treasure and moments that no one can hold. Wow, who am I? <laughs> Under eye bags and wrinkles are so frustrating. I came across Plexiderm and I was so excited. We have a model. All he's doing is taking a small amount. It's so powerful, that's all it takes. Tightens the skin and smooths it out. Gently rub it underneath your eyes, on your fine lines and wrinkles, and it visibly disappears in as little as 10 minutes. You know, I felt something happening, but I had no idea. Like, I have so many dark circles, I have the puffiness, I have the lines. Like, it's amazing. I love it. <laughs> Holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> This is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. It feels great. Looks even better. This 4th of July is the best time to get Plexiderm for $14.95 and see it work for yourself after your first application. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. You may not know them. The coffee shop owner who knows your order. The couple who saves your seats. The family down the street who greets you with a smile. They've been there for you. Now you can be there for them. Donate today and help our friends and neighbors keep their power on. America, we want to help get you back to it. And here's how, with the Ford Promise. Visit your Ford dealer. Finance a new, certified, pre-owned, or used vehicle through Ford Credit. And if you lose your job, you can return it for up to one year from the day you bought it. You can also get 0% APR financing for 72 months across the Ford lineup. Let us help get you back to it with the Ford Promise. Madison's not happy treating people differently because of their race. I've learned when I've been out reporting on the front lines that everyone is impacted differently, but it's also important to take some time to not judge people and to understand where they're coming from and why they might be angry or why they might be sad. This is our opportunity. You do see 
the best in some people coming out. This time feels different. This time, I think a real conversation may begin. This is News 3 Now This Morning. Good morning, it's July 5th. Sorry, I was reading the news about Kanye West potentially running for president. We'll see what happens there. But we're following some other breaking news overnight. Madison police are looking for two groups of people this morning. They say we're involved in a shots fired incident that happened on the city's east side overnight. Officers say they were called to the 4900 block of Spanham Avenue shortly after 1030 to find one car and two houses with bullet holes. The car was empty, but both houses had people in them at the time. So far, officers believe two groups of people were shooting at each other and neither the houses nor the car were intended targets. Anyone with information is asked to call Crime Stoppers. Now let's get a check of our day after the holiday forecast with Chris Reese. Hey, Chris. Good morning, Christina. We've been tracking at least a shower or thunderstorm just towards the north and west of Madison all morning long. It's been quite slow moving, but we're going to go ahead and zoom in on Richland County here. This is right around Richland Center. That's where we've really had the core of this. It's now moving right on into town. It's just sat at one spot and it's begun to weaken. There's another shower down towards Muscaday as we speak, but here's how it looks outside still very hazy and humid out there temperature wise we're at 72 now calm air so the wind is not really blowing dew points are into the upper 60s too so it's the air you can wear 74 in monroe right now watertown at 70 juno at 71 good morning janesville you are one of the cooler spots for now at 66, but we're heating up as we go through the day. Heat indices will work their way into the upper 90s. Eventually, we'll start to cool things down. We may see a few isolated showers uh, that begin to pop up later on this afternoon and evening as well. But when it comes to truly what you should expect, look for abundant sunshine. Temperatures around 85 by 11, 86 by 1 will top out into the low 90s, closer to 3 and 4 o'clock. Now, I'm going to go get my phone because I want to read this news about Kanye West, Christina. <laughs> yeah, jump on the bandwagon, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> the odds are not good. We'll tell you about those coming All right, up. Sounds good. Thank you. As of this morning, more than 700,000 Americans have recovered from COVID-19, but for many, their fight is far from over. Some are now struggling with serious and traumatic after effects of their treatment. They've been triumphant scenes of resilience we've needed. We still have to fight every day to get better. But COVID survivor Kim Victory, who's got a scar from her battle with the virus, says her physical and cognitive functioning is impaired after 13 days on a ventilator. i afraid I couldn't pick up the information or remember it like I did before. We know that this is a bomb in the making for these survivors. Dr. Wes Ely at Vanderbilt University says the effects from high-powered sedatives, disrupted blood and oxygen flow, and extreme isolation during treatment often don't show up until after discharge. An alarming 50% of patients in an ICU at least a week suffer from post-intensive care syndrome, or PICS. The vast majority of those patients are not normal when they leave the hospital. They are going to have some element of an ongoing brain injury and perhaps depression, PTSD, and muscle and nerve disease. There are cause and effects. Support groups are essential for PICS patients like Richard Langford. It's like living in a virtual prison. A knee operation 11 years ago left him in a coma on a respirator with the same PICS recovering COVID patients could face. I can't come up with the right words. I can't come up with the right thoughts. It's terrible. Dr. Ely says identifying problems early is the key to getting PICS patients the help they need. We have to prepare for the truth that a lot of these people won't get all the way back to where they were before. Jim Axelrod, CBS News. In case you need another reason to wear a mask, new research is out showing that wearing a face mask could be good for the economy. Goldman Sachs says we could save the national GDP around 5% if the country sets up a mandatory mask policy. According to the Washington Post, Sachs research shows that masks could prevent further lockdowns that would potentially hurt the economy and take away from profits. As of now, at least 20 states and Washington, D.C. have some mandate on wearing masks. The CDC 
recommends you wear one anytime you are out in public. And you'll want to make sure the mask you're wearing is effective too. Here's how different types of masks stack up. Quilting material is the most effective when it comes to stopping droplets from coughs. Bandanas are the least effective. I know I've seen a lot of people wearing those around town, but as you can see, they're still better than wearing nothing. New York State is turning to humor to try and get people to wear masks during the pandemic. A new PSA stars a character who looks like the serial killer Jason from the Friday the 13th series. He's walking around the streets of New York in his hockey mask, unintentionally terrifying people while trying to fit in. He finds out it's because he's not wearing a protective mask. Of course, the tagline reads, wearing a mask can be scary, but not wearing one can be deadly. It's 734 this morning, not so easy as Pi, one of Madison's busiest bakers, joins us next to explain the unique challenges she's facing now and how they stack up to past challenges like open, opening a vegan plant-based bakery as a black woman. Non-attorney spokesperson. This is a paid advertisement for legal services sponsored by Nightline Legal. Cases assigned on a random basis to participating law firms. Attention e-cigarette users. The use of e-cigarette vaping devices such as Juul has been linked to serious health effects, especially in teens and young adults. If you or your child used a vaping device and suffered lung damage, seizures, nicotine poisoning, addiction, or any other serious health problem, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Call 1-800-624-9726. That's 1-800-624-9726. Welcome to the Del Bar. One visit and you'll fall in love. A supper club you'll adore. Three generations in a Wisconsin tradition for over 75 years. We are now open, so take a drive. We would love to have you come and dine with us. The Del Bar, since 1943, Wisconsin Dells. Wisconsin is getting back to business. What's, What's your plan? Before you say, sorry, sorry we just can't do that. Before you say, we're not ready. Before you say, we don't have capacity. Put, Put us in your plan. plan. Let us help you get back to business. Are you, are are you ready? ready? Whether it's a labor shortage. It's a mandated closure. We're here. We've been here. We'll be here. From assembly to packaging and everything in between. Let's get to work, Wisconsin. Talk about fireworks. Check out these offers at Denver Mattress. Sleep cool all night long and save up to $500 on the superior cooling comfort of a temper breeze. Or get $100 off our Athlete's Choice Bed in a Box lineup. Check out the Queen Size Summit Firm. Only $189.99 plus seven years no interest financing and free shipping right to your doorstep. And to celebrate Casper's arrival at Denver Mattress, score special savings on all Casper mattresses and accessories. Better move fast. These deals will be gone before you know it. Velveeta breakfast biscuits are baked with nutritious morning energy. Energy to share joy. Energy to share new ideas. Energy to share more light with the world. Nutritious morning energy from Velveeta. It takes energy to share your energy. Work smarter. Use the cloud to securely print, scan, and collaborate. GI Office Technologies, helping businesses like yours. And I brought you a gift so you can fight properly. Red Bull. Oh! How nice. Of you. But also... Rather. Stupid. Hmm. Mine. Mine. No, mine. No, mine. Mine. Uh-oh. -uh. Mine. <laughs> Red Bull gives you wings. Get the facts with Reality Check, only on News 3 Now. Welcome back. It's no small feat to start your own business, especially when your goal is to open a plant-based vegan bakery. And you're a woman, and you're black. Lush Life Vegan Bakery's owner tackled all of that, so she is not letting the current challenges stand in her way. Carrie joins us this morning now. Good morning, Carrie. Thanks for talking to yeah. us. Good morning. So tell us a little bit about Lush Life Bakery. What caused you to start that? Um, you know, my youngest son was uh, ill when he was younger, and um, we had to change his diet all the way to plant-based, and I was a baker in the family, so I had to adapt to being a plant-based baker, something I had to teach myself. 
And I got so good at it that my family members who were not vegan, they didn't even know about it. So I saw that there was a need because there were a lot of families with children with sensitivities um, that needed that. So that's how Lush Life Vegan Bakery came into existence. Yeah, so you know you're a good baker when people can't tell the difference. What yeah. do you? What swaps do you make? I'm I'm kind of ignorant about this. What what makes your product vegan? What what ingredients do you have to omit, and what do you use instead? So to be vegan, vegan means to um, not have any animal products or byproducts. So no eggs, no dairy milk. You know. Um, Anything, like even with uh, the colors, like you know how you have pretty roses on your cake, even the dye will be plant-based. So anything with animal product, I don't use it. Wow, um, we also have, we have some video of your, uh all the cakes and different stuff you make. So we want to play that now so we can show people at home all the different cakes and cupcakes you have. Um, what's your favorite thing to make? What's, what's your specialty? If somebody's going to go order from Lush Life, what do you recommend? I recommend the cakes. My cakes are delicious. You know, my heart goes into them. And I really like to make sure, no, it's for everybody. Nobody will know the difference. So I would say definitely the cakes. Okay, that's good to know. And you have a unique way of people ordering things. They can order it through your Instagram or your Square site. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so, you know, this is the age of social media, so I definitely take um, orders through, like, Instagram or Facebook, or you can definitely email me. Um, a new thing that we have is um, mail order nationwide, so I'm able to ship cakes nationwide now. Wow, so, that's really I, impressive. What's the farthest you've had to ship so far? Um, probably to Maine. Maine, um, or... I got a lot of stuff going to New York, Los Angeles, Oregon. They're going everywhere now. Wow, you are so busy. And especially at a time, it's important now more than ever to support small businesses and also black owned businesses. Have you been yeah. seeing an uptake in orders ever since the Black Lives Matter movement really reignited? Yes, yes I have. And I'm very fortunate and I'm very happy that I am receiving the support business has been really good and i appreciate that oh that's so great to hear carrie thank you for talking to us this morning and best yeah. of luck in the weeks and months ahead i know it's a trying thank time you. for all small thank business owners you. and happy thank happy fifth of july i know we yes. missed the fourth right. enjoy the rest of your day carrie it's 741 this morning, packed and ready to go. The Bucks head to Florida in just two days to restart their 2020 season, what they're now saying about their renewed quest for a championship. And here's a live look over the Capitol this Sunday morning. Chris is back with our full work week forecast right after this. But first, we're going to take a look at who's turning three years old today. Happy birthday to... Locos 3 is sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. Here's to the road ahead. Trust Toyota to be here for you. Now every Toyota hybrid vehicle is available with 0% financing. With fewer stops per gas, Toyota hybrids give you the confidence to go farther. See your dealer or shop and buy online. Right now, you can lease a new 2020 Toyota RAV4 hybrid for $239 a month. All from the brand you trust, today and tomorrow, Toyota. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, inventor of my pillow. Just like you, I had problems sleeping. I tried every pillow out there and nothing worked. 15 years ago, I invented my pillow. It took me two years to develop because I wanted to have everything you would ever want in a pillow. I made sure that you could adjust my patented fill so you could have the exact support you need as an individual, regardless of your sleep position. I also wanted a pillow that would last, so I made my pillow machine washable and dryable. I backed my pillow with a 10-year warranty and a 60-day 
day money back guarantee. Not only that, I do all my own manufacturing in my home state of Minnesota. I really like the fact that it was made in the USA. I think that USA products are a better quality product. I've tried a lot of other pillows and nothing's worked like my pillow. I'm interrupting this commercial right now to give you deep discounts, not just on my pillows, but also my mattress topper sheets and so much more. For example, you can get body pillows regular $89.99, now only $29.99, or my pillow dog beds for as low as $19.99 with your promo code. I used to think that sheets were just sheets. I got the Giza Dream sheets. They are the most comfortable sheets I've ever had. The Go Anywhere Pillow is so easy to just roll up and take anywhere I want to go. Go Anywhere Pillow is really comfortable, so that's what I really like. It's nice and supportive, and it's nice and small. The My Pillow Topper, for the first time, has enabled me to have a cool night's sleep. I'm able to go to bed and just get rest. That's three inches of wonderful that's in the My Pillow mattress topper. It's just like a firm cloud. My Pillow helps me get a good night's sleep so I can do my job in the morning. Go to mypillow.com to get deep discounts, not just on my pillows, but so much more. For example, you get body pillows regular $89.99, now only $29.99, or my pillow dog beds for as low as $19.99 with your promo code. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit mypillow.com. News 3 Now First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Today is an alert day. Monday is now also an alert day here in the News 3 Now First Warren Weather Center. This is due to the heat and the humidity. We have not seen much in the way of relief from that. This is just this afternoon. Heat indices will once again work their way into the mid and upper 90s. We're going to do that again headed into tomorrow afternoon too. Cooling off tonight, steaming right back up tomorrow where for <laughs> what seems like uh, the millionth day in a row. We're going to keep these highs into the 90s with the heat indices into the upper 90s into the afternoon. Some of the ways that you can beat the heat include light colored and loose fitting clothing. Also avoid the alcohol and the caffeine when possible. I really want to stress the importance of drinking water as you're outside. Also, don't forget to check on the pets. Remember to check the back seat too because as air temperatures heat up towards 90 degrees, your car heats up rather quickly. So here's the th thermometer with the air temperature. This in front of me is what your air temperature inside the car becomes in a matter of time. After an hour, the inside of your car heats up to more than 130 degrees. Folks, this extended stretch of heat, that's sticking around for a very long time here. We're looking at above normal temperatures for at least the next six to 10 days. I can already tell you that extends really through the third week of July. The only part of the country that's not going to be hazy, hot, and humid, that's going to be parts of the northern Rockies and the Pacific Northwest. Everyone is going to be hot and we're going to be hot for a while. Any chances for thunderstorms? They certainly do exist. None of them are widespread washouts, but we'll see a chance for some thunderstorms even this afternoon and evening. We're already seeing some out there right now that I'm going to show you in a second. Most of that's going to be to our north. Tomorrow, there's going to be another chance for some showers and thunderstorms. Again, most of that's going to be towards the north, but as we move into tomorrow night, and then we move into Tuesday afternoon and evening, we'll see additional chances to see some of those showers and thunderstorms. Here's Doppler track right now. The one shower that I've been watching, that's been right over Richland Center now, and it's been there for quite some time. It was just back towards the north and west of there, but since then, the heaviest of that has pushed towards the south and east. 72 is our Madison temperature right now. Platteville at 74. Monroe is at 75. And here's Janesville. They have now jumped up towards 73. Here we are through the rest of tonight, though, or the rest of today. Temperatures top out into the low 90s. You see the isolated storms popping up mainly towards the north of Madison. We'll cool down into the 60s tonight and do it all over again tomorrow. We'll watch the northwestern sky, though, as the next round of showers starts to get closer. But extended heat and not a lot of rain in the forecast. There are some chances for showers and thunderstorms, but the reality is most of the next several days are going to be dry. So. Plant lovers, green thumbs, you're going to want to water your plants early in the morning, late in the evening, overnight, because during the actual day, we're not going to get a lot of rain. You also need to water yourself. Bring a lot of water with oh, you. Oh, yes. Water your... Hey, plants need sunlight and water to grow. So do humans. <laughs> 
You're always full of great information. <laughs> Thanks so much, My Chris. Uh, the Milwaukee Bucks are starting to get back in the swing of things. This week, they're going to fly out to the happiest place on earth, Orlando, Florida. Especially now, remember, they haven't That's played together fair. since That's March 9th. That's almost four months away from the game. So there's going to be some sloppy play at first, but the Bucks are all right with that. I know that I'm going to be a little, a little bit rusty. I haven't played five versus five in a while. Um, but, you know, I'm excited. I'm excited to, you know, get back to practice with my teammates. I'm excited to play games. We're not going back to ground zero in our minds, you know, both from a mental standpoint, from a physical standpoint, from a work that's been put in standpoint. Uh, but at the same time, we know we've got a long ways to go and a lot of work ahead of us. I'm interested to learn what Giannis's version of Rusty really is. For the first time since 1958, the Packers are going to choose Lambeau over St. Norbert College when they start training camp later this month. First round draft pick Jordan Love will be at camp for sure. The rookie officially signed with the Packers this week and has been working out at Synergy Sports Performance in Green Bay over the past couple of days. Since being drafted, Love's main focus has been learning the playbook. It's been different. Um, that's all I can say about it. It's just been a really different offseason. Um, I, mean, I wouldn't know what it'd be like without it, but um, you know, I can say it's been different. You know, going from college to you know a system I was in, um, just learning this new system. I guess right now that's the biggest um, thing for me is just trying to learn it, put my head into it, and dive into it. Like Love, fellow rookie A.J. Dillon officially became a member of the Packers this week, signing his rookie contract. The second-round draft pick rushed for nearly 4,400 yards in just three seasons at Boston College. As tradition, before their season, the Brewers create a spoof of a famous movie this year's film, Back to the Future, Miller Park Edition, with an updated version of Marty McFly and Dr. Emmett Brown. Here's part of that short film. Shooter, you're telling me you made a time machine out of the bullpen car? 88. 88 miles per hour? 88 miles per hour, what did I tell you? What? You're a Craig Council. Yeah? And who are you? Suter, I need your help to get back. My goodness! Oh my gosh, that's so funny. If you thought you ate a lot at your 4th of July barbecue, I guess you can just consider yourself a world-class athlete now. I bet Joey Chuck ache this morning after eating a record-setting 75 hot dogs and buns in 10 minutes as part of the annual Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest COVID style. Plexiglass barriers were installed between the contestants and there weren't any fans this year. Mickey Sudo won the women's contest. She ate 48 and a half hot dogs and buns in 10 minutes, also setting a world record. That's quite the video to wake up to this morning. Sorry, I should have given you a little disclaimer. Be sure to make News 3 a part of your weekly routine by downloading our Channel 3000 app for the latest headlines and weather conditions 24-7. But first, you wouldn't know from this video that the six-year-old has been in the fight of his life, but now he's taking the flight of his life, all thanks to his dad. Some good news from the friendly skies is right after this. have a fear of overpaying, you have FOOP. But don't worry, U.S. Cellular has your back with the Samsung Galaxy S25 G, free when you switch, plus no activation fees. Stream without disruption, capture and post without restriction, and do it all without FOOP. Switch and get a free Samsung Galaxy S25 G at U.S. Cellular. Choose fair. Incredible deals, huge markdowns, plus free doorstep shipping on everything. What a sale. The 4th of July sale at Slumberland Furniture. 
Home is dancing because no one's watching. Home is a reason to disturb the peace. Home is laughter. Home is where heads come to rest. A place to let go and a place to find again. At Stanley Steamer, we love home, and we know that a clean home is a healthy home. We're ready when you are. Reflect on this. You can have a lasting career in one of today's hottest fields with an online degree from Herzing University. Recognized, accredited, experienced, with more than 90% student satisfaction. Plus, Herzing is transfer friendly. Apply now and pay no enrollment fee. A degree from Herzing University. It's a nice reflection on you. I'm possible at Herzing. Call or click today. Finally, this morning we end with a courageous little boy who took the trip of a lifetime on his father's wings. Here's Chris Van Cleef. Hi guys, I'm Hawken. We're going to pool today. You wouldn't know it from this video, but six-year-old Hawken Moore has been in the fight of his life. It started 18 months ago with a doctor's visit. His mom, Tori. Said we needed to go to Children's Hospital, and I said, well, are they going to call me or do I call them? And she looked at me and said, you need to go right now. A scan showed a volleyball-sized tumor on his kidney. Hawk, as they call him, was rushed into surgery. The tumor ruptured, and this little guy went through 10 months of chemotherapy and radiation. It's words that you never want to hear. It's words that you don't ever forget. But Hawken beat back the aggressive cancer, living his mantra. Stay strong and don't worry about the doctors. So... <laughs> Show how you did it. Stay strong. <laughs> In March, just before the coronavirus lockdown started, he was healthy enough for a make-a-wish trip to the Disney Resort in Hawaii. He picked it because his father Ryan, an Alaska Airlines pilot, flies there for work and sends home pictures. First of all, he's a cancer survivor. Yes. Yeah. Just before departure, Ryan had a surprise. First, he announced Hawk's uncle Dan, an Alaska captain, was in command of their flight to paradise. But what he said next touched the entire plane and thousands more once this video was shared online this week. This is a big honor for me today as your first officer. Not only do I get to fly with my brother-in-law, Dan, for the first time, I also get to fly my family on my son's make-a-wish trip to Hawaii. The more family has learned tomorrow is not a guarantee. Every day counts, but that one counted just a little more as this little hawk took flight. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, Washington. That's such a great story, and things like that put it in perspective mm -hmm. for all of us. I love to fly. It's a cool thing to do. I, I just, I'm so nervous now. Really? I'll be honest. <laughs> well, I get no, that. I, have a, going yeah, on. I was like, what? No, yeah. I, like turbulence hits and I'm just having the time of my life. Uh, but see, as a meteorologist, you study what turbulence is. So okay. when you fly, you think So you it's feel cool. a little more confident. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, one final check of the weather before we leave you this morning. Temperatures will top out into the low 90s. I can't rule out a pop-up shower or a thunderstorm, but most of the day is going to be full of sunshine. We'll do that again on Monday and we're staying steamy for the next 10 days. Yeah, we really are. Grab mm -hmm. your water, grab your sunscreen, maybe order an ice cream, but Grab have a great rest of your holiday weekend.